Mall review time, baby. What's happening, everyone? We are doing a versus review today from the Valhalla collection of Highland Park. These are the first two releases. Here we have Thor, and here we have Loki. So Thor versus Loki. The brothers. Uh, Thor is a 16-year-old whiskey from Highland Park, and the Loki is a 15-year-old whiskey from Highland Park. They both come in these beautiful Viking ship looking kind of boxes. Yes, sir. And they open like this beautifully. This one, the Loki is bottled at 52.1% ABV. And The Loki's bottled at 48.7% ABV. So really, really cool packaging, but the more important part is how is the whiskey? Yes, sir. So. And the other two bottlings are Freya and Odin that came after, and that completes the Valhalla collection. All right. So kind of going to put these sure. to the side a little bit. Um, we're going to start with the first one we're going to start with is going to be the Thor. Thor. So here we'll put Thor right here. So here we go. Without further ado on the nose. Nice light gold. Check it out in the nose. 16 years. The Thor has just a gorgeous nose suggesting both bourbon mm -hmm. and sherry casks. Bingo. This is definitely what the nose is suggesting. You're getting, mm. you're getting that beautiful Highland Park smoke, the heather, the honey. Oh, yeah. So you really, really know it's a Highland Park from nosing. It doesn't hide that. Mm. The oh. Sherry cask, assuming they're sherry casks, adds this like, this creamy richness, this chocolatey fudge. And the bourbon casks are adding those beautiful citrus elements, mm -hmm. citrus fruits. Yeah, I'm getting, getting both. I'm getting, yeah. and with the, the Arcadian smoke, that light peat, I'm getting like barbecue, both barbecued fruits and smoky dark chocolate. And definitely, yeah, definitely the, the citrus, like kind of candied uh, lemon peel, candied orange peel. There's a bar, like a light hint of like, not even a light hint, there's like a <laughs> sea, there's the sea, sea breeze, salty oh, mineral yeah. elements. Oh, yeah. And then there's also like a hint of like uh, barbecued meats as well. I was just going to say, it's like, it's barbecue, but it's, salty. it's like that, that uh, salty Orcadian air they talk about. Yes. Where Highland Park is. It's like you're barbecuing out there, maybe a little campfire in the back, you're getting all that. But a great balance. Yeah. Great balance. That's why I'm, uh, it just really smells like there's both both casks. Totally. Really having a nice influence. Very balanced. Nothing's overly done. Mm -mm. Very Highland Park. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, isn't that kind of how Highland Park always does? And I would, I, would <coughs> guess, I would guess this to be like closer to 20 years old. Yeah. I'm 16 years old, but... Reminding me more of like a Highland Park 21 right. rather than a Highland Park 18, right? Right. Yeah, especially the, the complexity approaches with like a 20, 21. And cast old. strength really helps that, of course. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's got a, a nice sweetness to it, like a, a nice icing sugar sweetness to it. Absolutely. Mm. Like powder, powdered sugar, yeah, vanilla like powder, elements. Powdered sugar, yeah. When, and like definitely from the bourbon, it's got like that vanilla, it's got the crepes, go along with the citrus, almost a little tropical fruits are coming out, kind of in the middle. And a nice, and nice, cherries. nice maltiness yeah. as well, some nice cereal notes. Absolutely. Oh, it's a fine whiskey. Very fine. Very, very good. Palette? Palette. Two Valhalla. Mmm. Mm. 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 Oh. Oh. It's 
so nicely drawn. It's so Highland Park. All your saliva just leaves. Mouth just waters. You just want more and more and more of it. Wow. That's it's really good. Great mouthfeel. Wow. That's nice. It's gotten a lot better. You sounded like horse while you were drinking that too, by the way. Yeah. Horse? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see why he does it. Yeah, hell yeah. Love horse. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Oh, my God. That was nuts. Oh, yeah. Mouthfeel creamy. Wow. Vanilla, fruits, beautiful oak. Ton, tons of vanilla. Tons of vanilla. Mm. Citrus fruit, honey. Yeah, and it's like definitely a little bit of cream, but more like like uh, vanilla oak spice. Oh, loving that the, the apricots, prunes. Mm. Yeah. Such a good balance of. It's almost like there's a combination of first fill and second fill bourbon with second fill sherry, right? Yeah. This is that's just my guess. No, definitely, and and more on the palate, <clears throat> the bourbon fruits mainly come out a lot more on the palate for me. I like nose. it better. I like it better on the palate than I do on the nose. Definitely, yeah, and it's it's definitely more fruit forward in the palate, and the especially the Arcadian smoke, the Highland Park peat, and the oak are just amazing on the palate. Great mouthfeel, great finish. This is excellent. Mm. One more set. Perfect ABV, perfect drinking strength on the palate. Second sip, it's almost like, it's like you said, ice and sugar, but it's like oak sugar. Mm. It's almost like this woody, beautiful, but not too dry at all, but just the essence of the flavor of the wood, the oak, ice and sugar, just more and more. And the, that vanilla, that cream, unbelievable. That's really good. So drinkable. Un so delicious. Unbelievable. Wow. And I did add a drop of water in each one. Um, they it got made, made, sweeter yeah. and creamier. Yeah. More ice and sugar. <laughs> so, I'd say, wow, the finish. Finish. Is you great. know what I love about the finish is, besides the fact that it's a nice long finish, it's the full flavor is still there. Full flavor is still there. It's a real finish. So, I'd say on the nose, 89. And I'd say the palate, 90. Now, we don't do half points. Do those tries. Yeah. How do you how do you feel about it? I can't decide if it's an eighty nine or a ninety. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard to say. Like if I'm just in the moment, yeah. Where I boot up to ninety, yeah. But it's right there. It's right there. Like if yeah, to be safe, you'd say eighty nine and a half if we gave half points. But it's like right there. It's just, it's so enjoyable. Today, I've never given this. This just always ranks at at like an eighty eight, eighty nine for me. Today's the best it's been. I'm, we're having a good palate day today. It could be that too. Yeah, we're, have, we're having a good pallet day today. Yeah. Every, you know, everything has been know. bumping up like a half the score. Normally, tasty. normally things bump down. Right. But today, this is a this is a ninety out of a hundred. This is spectacular. Same thing. Just yeah. gotta gotta go with the moment, the enjoyment. Yeah. And now I'm just I'm getting like all the fruits, but like salted fruits. Like before it was barbecued fruits. Now it's like salted fruits. The salty caramel, just the most beautiful sea salt. Incredible. Incredible. All right, let's do two. The little brother. I'll take it out of the packaging just because oh, limited on space. So much butterscotch. Okay. We are doing the brother now. Loki. Damn, Lo lower ABV. Little bro. Lighter yeah, color. Yeah. In a year longer. And it is on the nose. Completely different. This one suggests all bourbon. 48.7%. Got it. Yeah. This one is suggesting all, all bourbon. 15 years. Um, mm. And you're getting much more of a mineral element. The wet rocks. Sea spray. The vanilla and the heather honey is there. Mm. It's more... Bitter citrus peel, bitter orange peel, bitter grapefruit. 
Yeah, just like no like sherry, no like chocolate, no stewed fruits. And no no rich sweet honey, right? Right. It's just a little bit of that that heather smoke, touch of that honey. Right, like a little touch so, of yeah, honey. Yeah. Not like that wax, like beeswax honey. No. From the sherry on Thor. Yeah. A very like traditional bourbon, you know. Yeah. You know, kind of medium peated uh, Highland Park. To me, not not nearly as enjoyable as no as the Thor. I'd say like a lower level, like little brother level. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Mm. It's nice, but you're expecting it to be on the same ballpark. I'd say on the nose, this is eighty six. Around the eighty six, eighty seven, maybe. Yeah, enjoyable, but you know, not overly complex. Very traditional. And I'm digging. Bourbon. I'm I'm quiet. I I want to experience more fruits. I want to experience experience more dessert elements. But it's just kind of sitting there with the the bitterness that comes from these citrus fruits, the vanilla, just a touch of that honey, like almost like the peel, and that smoke, the and the fruit. main yeah, and the main thing is the mineral element. Yeah, the ocean spray, the wet rocks. Right. Yeah, this is more the I guess like the distillery character is really taking over. And as that one where it was sixteen years old felt more like a twenty year old. This one at fifteen years old, I guess it's more like uh I guess twelve to fifteen, you're somewhere saying, in that range. Saying, Nothing maybe, more. Maybe, yeah, like a twelve year old. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah. Feeling younger, aging younger. And the ABV's lower on this one, it almost feels harsher on the nose. Yeah. Mm. Palette? Palette. Definitely better on the palate. Much better on the palate. The nose. Mm. Mm. Sweeter on the palate. Way sweeter on the palate. More like it. Creamy vanilla. Icing sugars coming out. Icing sugars. A lot more fruits on the palate. Sweeter. The, the, the citrus yeah. fruits are a lot sweeter. Pineapple coming out, like oh, a sweet pineapple. Yeah. Exactly. Getting like sweet tropical fruits, getting orchard fruits, peaches, apricots. Absolutely much better on the palate. Much, much better. Mm -hmm. Perfect amount of drying. Got all that Arcadian air, Arcadian smoke, sea breeze. I'd say where mm -hmm. I'd say where it was like an 86 oh. on the nose, it came up to like an 89 on the palate. Yeah. Way higher. Yeah. The palate's saving it. 100%. Big time. Big yeah. time. Beautiful, beautiful bourbon, tropical orchard fruits in the palate. One more sip with water. For sure. Mm. Love the palate. Yeah, it's got to wake this nose up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get up to the palate. Damn. Crazy. Okay. It's a good whiskey, very good whiskey. Mm -hmm. Finish is also very nice on this one. Water didn't change it much for me, actually, and I no. put two drops of water in very, very little juice and it still didn't change it much, surprisingly. Yeah. But where it knows kind of young and not super complex, it drinks definitely like a good 15-year-old whiskey, 15-, oh, yeah. 16-year-old whiskey. So it drinks much older, yeah. Yeah. It, um, no, it's really, really good on the palate. Mm -hmm. Very nice, actually, to saved see. Saved it, saved it. Yeah, see a whiskey that, that this solid on the palate. Yep. In comparison, and uh, air has definitely benefited these these whiskeys over time. Sure. Really, really enjoying them. My score, I'm gonna say like 86 on the nose, 89 on the palate for the Loki, and I'm gonna, I'm comfortable giving it an 88 as a whole. Yeah, I'd say same thing. I said and a strong like two point difference. 90, yes. 88, 
It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, really solid. These are very tricky. They're obviously sold out everywhere because they came out years ago. But they're they're a little tricky in the auction because I I saw, for example, the Thor going all the way up to like $800 at auctions, which is way too high. Damn. Yeah. And then I've seen it kind of drop now quite a bit. So I think a lot of people were seeking it out, trying to complete their collection, and a lot of them did. So I, I don't even know how much they go for, but my guess is somewhere for the Thor, probably around the $500 range at auction, $500, $600 range. It might be more. I'm sorry if it is, but um, either way, the secondary prices for me, these are a skip. Originally, both of these were $250, where I would definitely say factoring in the beautiful packaging and all that stuff and the fact that it's good juice from highland park fully cast strength i would definitely say the thor would have been a bot was a good buy for 250 100 the loki at 250 if you want to complete the collection yeah. for me it's just probably a skip at that price skip for me yeah. yeah yeah so i would say the original price which came out years ago and i know they're charging you for the packaging it's kind of maximum 250 price. Wouldn't go any any higher yeah. higher than that. So nothing I'm like freaking out trying to acquire, but cool whiskey. Highland Park is just unbelievable overall. Love Highland Park. Yeah, yeah just put out so many, so many good bottlings and yeah. um, continuing to enjoy what they can do with both sherry and bourbon casks. Masters of both. Yeah. All right, there we go. Loki, uh, Thor versus Loki. Loki wins. I mean, Thor wins. Thor wins. Thor yeah. won. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll see you guys soon for many more reviews. Cheers. Cheers.